I don't want to meet you. I don't want you to see me like this. I'm so ashamed of how I look. Where you are at the moment, right, on your health journey or whatever it is, don't be ashamed of where you're at right now. Don't be ashamed of what your body looks like. Don't be ashamed of what eh, what you look like as a person because that doesn't matter. What matters is that you're working towards a better version of yourself. What I mean by a better version, I mean a healthier person. Reclaiming your health or reclaiming your life, do not be ashamed of where you're at. Don't be ashamed even of your job at the moment. As long as you are working towards moving on and you see a future. Don't be ashamed right now if you have got an eating disorder and you're super, super skinny, right? Don't be ashamed if you're recovering from an eating disorder and you've got this big balloon bloated belly or your hair's thin or your skin is dry. The fact is that you've realised and you're recovering, you're working on your recovery. Who gives a shit what anyone else says or thinks about you? Don't be ashamed if you're a beast right now and you're on a weight loss journey. Don't be ashamed if you are really overweight and then you go to the gym and there's all these thin, fit looking people and you're there overweight and completely unfit. The fact is that you are showing up there, you know, and that is respectable. Don't give a shit about anyone else. Stop comparing yourselves to others. Why am I saying this? Because I'm guilty of it myself. I compare my own recovery progress with that of other people, you know, and that person's doing better than me, they're recovering faster than me. But then I forget I'm really, really suffering with bad digestive and gastro, uh, gastrointestitis or whatever it's called, yeah, gastro fucking problems, okay? And that other person might not be, that other person might not be experiencing the stress in their life that I am, the other things, you know, I mean, that, how can you compare your own situation? Think of it when you do a science experiment, in order for that experiment to be like legit and to actually be fair, you have to keep all variables consistent. And how can you do that for people's lives? Because people's lives vary so, so much. You can't even, you can't even say what's going to happen in your own life tomorrow, you know? So don't just take life as it comes one day at a time and be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself and just know that you are doing the best today and making small steps towards your recovery or your health journey or whatever it is, your career anything you want just be totally kind in yourself and stop comparing yourself with others and stop judging yourself because me I am like who am I to talk about this well I am guilty of it I'm probably one of the biggest offenders in this my whole life and I'm just coming to realize now it was only yesterday even because I mean I've I'm going to, like, my other video where I talk about my current progress and the digestive issues that I'm facing, and I was like, I'm so ashamed that I'm not putting on weight or that I'm still so thin, and I don't want to go and meet friends, you know, there are some people on YouTube that I'm supposed to be meeting up with next month, and I'm like, I even, like, for example, Henya, I'm meant to be, like, meeting Henya next month, and she's coming here to stay with me for a bit, and, like, we're going to do, like, some awesome stuff in Scotland, and I said to her, I don't think I can do this, because I don't want to meet you, I don't want you to see me like this, I'm so ashamed of how I look, and she was like, Lauren, do you think I care? Do you honestly think I care? Because I like you for you, the person that you are, not because of how skinny you are or like whatever she knows exactly what I'm going through in terms of my digestive problems she suffers a lot with that as well she has suffered with an eating disorder and she's like I'm not exactly going to judge you I don't care how skinny you are I like you as a person and that really helped me because I'm like anyone who actually just likes me as a person will accept me for what I am right now right? They'll accept me for what I am right now. They'll accept me for what I am as I recover and they'll accept me for what I am at the end of my recovery. And I think that is the same for everyone. That is the same. Put it this way, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. It all comes back to that. Anyone who's going to judge me right now for what I look like 
or what I'm doing in my recovery, that they don't they don't matter. And you know, they might accept me when I'm recovered, but you know, they've accepted me conditionally. They've accepted me because I am now normal or that I'm now healthy. But people in your life that matter, they're the people that will accept you now, whether you're obese, whether you're skinny, whether you're unfit, whether your hair's fallen out, whether you're sick, whether you're healthy, blah, 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 blah. do you know what I mean? And they will support you on your journey. They are the ones that truly matter. And the other people just fuck them all. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. You know that Frozen song thing? Have you heard the version when it's like, fuck them all, fuck them all, don't give a shit anymore. Fuck it all, fuck it all, don't give a shit anymore. Fuck it all, fuck it all, flip the table, screw you all. I don't take this bullshit. Yeah, frozen. Got a lot of it. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off. Thank you for watching this little video. I hope it's resonated with some of you. I'm sure it fucking has. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video.